zero and it is bloody cold i've just put the gas fire on for five minutes so i thought I'd do a quick review will be quick there's no gonna no tangents in this review it's full on get in get done get gone and i need to shave as well yeah, if you've noticed so this is gorham ipa from book home brewery um named after a giant of a bloke called gorham obviously um there we go five percent offering yeah um i think i got it from um morrison's at the time i'm sure it was morrison's nice citrus and stone fruit aroma oh citrus in the taste i've been burning today so albeit not very good but yeah trying to get a rip roaring fire i got a, like a, a smoldering fire can't want more just when you want to keep warm because it was obviously minus four this morning so it was a little bit on the cold side but hey, i couldn't do it can't win them all so yeah definitely getting stone fruit in the taste as well definitely getting citrus nice twang to it amber poor little white head um looks slightly hazy on here uh, whether that's just the cold of the glass in this room because it, it is Baltic. <sighs> that's how cold it is. I think I'll escape back up the house and go and sit in my um, bedroom and do some internet work and get warm. <sighs> yeah, so not the warmest of days. And uh, roll on. The warmer weather. It has been quite the cold spell. Now, Bookcomb, they met Bookcomb Gold, if I can remember. Um, struggling to remember a lot of the others. Avon, so I think they're a Bristol based brewery. Might be right, might be wrong. Um, not come across a lot of their beers, to be fair. Um, yeah, this is nice tasting, you know. Would have been better on a slightly warmer day, but it goes well at a cold temperature. Nice bite in, in the taste. Definitely. Ooh. On the tongue, real good bite on the tongue. Uh, good flavour that you, you can definitely get the flavour from this. If I'm being honest, I'd rather have it a little bit warmer. But um, obviously it needs must. Um, it's that time of the year, you know. Doesn't we don't normally get that many cold days in, in England these days? You know, it's not like the old, the good old days of the nineteen eighties with some of the some of the cold you know cold days then. I think two thousand and ten was the last winter where it was a bit rough. Well, two thousand and nine going into two thousand and ten. I know that because I was in the up. Uh, I was in my old city council job, and uh, I was at home uh, not very well. And um, yeah, it was a bit on the cold side. We had a month long ice all over the roads. It was lethal. Trying to get on and off this estate. So nice tasting, more of a traditional IPA with citrus elements and the stone fruit elements than a craft beer IPA. Always, always something to remember that, you know, Mostly, nine times out of ten, the stuff that comes in bottles is more traditionally based. The stuff that comes in cans, uh, 
not always, but a lot of the stuff that comes in cans these days is more craft stuff. Tends to be the way anyway. But people out there drinking beer will probably know that anyway. Oh. So, went down a tree, you've got to say. Short and sweet review. I'm absolutely bloody frozen. But enjoyable, yeah. Um, nice subtle aroma, good taste throughout, nice bite to it. And uh, yeah, went down well. Out of five, 4.2 out of five. Very nice. From Buckham Brewery. See you soon. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to get warm because I'm going. Cheers. Mm -hmm.